lots of people, including Republicans, and because I grew up a constitutionalist, you know, Republican leaning statist, lots of them did an outstanding job of bashing collectivist garbage and welfare garbage and wasteful spending and blah, blah, all these things they're doing wrong. And they were all authoritarians. If a libertarian is out there going, you know, we, we think this waste, you know, this is wasteful and this is horrible and this law is unjust and there shouldn't be the war on drugs and blah, 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 blah. And they don't get around to saying, by the way, nobody has the right to rule you. Their message is worthless because by not saying that in almost every freaking sentence, they're reinforcing the notion that, ah, it's horrible that our slave masters whip us so hard. I mean, of course, we need slave masters. Of course, they have to whip us some. But I mean, this is just unreasonable. That is the implied message in the speech of almost every single libertarian I've ever seen run for office because they don't dare to actually harp on the principles because they know they won't get elected. So they play the game and they get political and it's just gross and ugly to watch. To complain that the slave master whips us too hard is to miss the whole freaking point. There shouldn't be slave masters. And if any libertarian okay, the, gives any speech and you can't tell that he believes that government is 100 percent illegitimate start to finish, then the message he is spreading is completely counterproductive.